In the POS system, it has been mentioned that steel ligature ties are used whenever the arch wire does not fit passably in the bracket slot and elastics whenever the arch wire does fit passably. The reasoning revolves around the fact that 016 nitie, tie, our initial arch wire, is a very efficient wire to correct rotations in the initial alignment stage. If you use elastic ligatures in areas that need wire deflection, the weakest link is the elastic. The tooth is then being moved by the action of the elastic, which is much less efficient than the nitie tie wire. By deflecting the nitie tie arch wire into the bracket slot with steel ligature ties, the full efficiency of the nitie tie wire is realized. Loosely placed steel ligature ties do not allow for the full efficiency of the nitie tie wire since the ligature coupling is itself inefficient. The tightest ligature tie to hold the nitie tie arch wire deflection will result in the best tooth movement. To obtain the tightest ligature tie, pull on the math out plier as you tighten. This will stretch the ligature material. This action will also tighten the loose end of the ligature as you tighten the pigtail. You may push on the loop end of the ligature towards the bracket, and this will also help in obtaining the tightest tie. Some of you may find the ligature tie techniques easier when using the Twistmate ligature placer. There are preformed short ligatures that are fed into the locking mechanism by pulling back on the lever and releasing. Now let's observe the first tie-in on the patient seen earlier in the videotape. We'll use a standard four tie wing tie using a shorty twist mate system. The ligature wire is not quite as durable and seems to break easier than the other O1O ligature wire used. Also, the short ends require more frequent cutting and tucking due to discomfort to the lips. The short wire ends can also be lost easier, causing damage to the office vacuum cleaners, but most prefer the one hand twisting with this instrument. Now we will do a double over tie on the upper lateral incisor. Remember to hold the arch wire towards the arch wire slot as you tighten. In this case, bringing the arch wire from the gingival of the tooth towards the slot. Now watch the hand motion as we manipulate the ligature wire, keeping tension on the wire as you tighten. With the Twistmate system, there is a similar motion, again using the left hand to hold the arch wire into the slot. A pin and ligature cutter is used to cut the pigtail, leaving, leaving two to three millimeters of wire to be tucked underneath the bracket. Now we'll go to the other side. Looking at the lateral incisor, we will be positioning the arch wire for a four tie wing tie. Engage the bracket with the ligature wire, using a curette sometimes to obtain the full engagement in the tie wings. In this case, we will be making the pigtail on the distal since that's where the wire needs to be held the tightest. After the tie-in is completed, be sure to check the distal ends before starting the next arch. The proper use of a distal end cutter is to grab the wire, slide forward until the cutter stops at the distal end of the tube, and squeeze. The end of the wire should be held with the cutter. 
always confirm by checking for the cut piece since significant damage is possible when swallowed. Next, be sure to check with your fingers for any sharp spots that may cause irritation to the patient during the month.